Hi everyone, this is Caroline here at Thought Farmer, uh, here to talk to you about our new Microsoft Teams integration. We are launching this new integration in Thought Farmer version 10.8, and I want to show you today what it will allow you to do if you are using MS Teams and Thought Farmer at your organization. And it's mainly two important things. The first thing that we're allowing you to do with this integration is giving you the ability to send updates from your Thought Farmer internet automatically in Teams or have it show up there. Secondly, we also want to give you and your users the ability to search information from your internet directly from Teams, from within Teams, and then easily post those results to a team channel. So uh, the last thing I'll talk about today is our broadcast feature. Uh, that is an existing feature, but we've now extended it to also allow you to send broadcast messages into MS Teams as well as Slack or both if you happen to use both. So uh, I want to start by showing you where this is, of course, our admin panel. We're going to scroll down here and in the integrations section, you'll now see a new link into Microsoft Teams. Now, the first thing you'll see here is a page where you will configure the app. Uh, I'm not going to go over that today, but note that you have all of the documentation you will need to set this up on our help desk, on our thought from our help desk. So please check that out before you um, before you venture to set up your Microsoft Teams app within Thought Farmer. So I'm going to go into this activity messages tab here to show you how I can automatically send information from my internet to MS Teams. Now, in my case, what I want to do is I want to automatically send news items where I post my weekly meeting notes with my team. Whenever I publish a news item that contains those meeting minutes, I want my team to be notified of that directly into our Microsoft Teams channel. So I'm going to add a new role here. I will name it CSM Meeting Minutes. And now I'm going to select the section, the page, the news feed on my internet that has the information I want to send. So I will search for check-in meetings. I select this news feed here. And then what I will do here is I'll select from these two options to send activity for any page in this area to Microsoft Teams. That just ensures that every time a new news post is added to the section, a notification will be sent. Next up down here, I want to make sure I select the right team in MS Teams. So I have a customer success team here that I will select. And then I can also select the channel that I want these activity messages to be posted in. In my, in my case, I have a meeting notes channel, so I will select that. I'm going to select the all of the different types of activity on the internet that I want to send to Teams. Uh, so I will select new news item published and maybe also new comment added. So if somebody adds a comment on my news post, I will also see that in Microsoft Teams. So when I save that, you can now see my new rule is showing up in that list of activity messages for the MS Teams integration. All right, so the next step is I'm going to actually navigate to this news feed, which is right here. And I'm going to add a new post just to show you guys how it works. I'll call it meeting January 25th. And I'll add some fake meeting notes here as well. I'm going to hit publish, effectively adding this news item onto my internet. And then if I open this second tab, which has my MS Teams app here, you'll see that right away this meeting notes page is now added onto my MS Teams channel. It of course has a direct link back to that page. It has the summary and it shows who has posted that item, which is exactly what we wanted. So while we're here, I'd also like to show you how you can search the internet from within MS Teams. So how I will do that is from within my customer success channel, I'll click on new conversation. And then I'm actually going to click on these ellipses here and find my Thought Farmer app. In our case, our internet is called, named Sparky. So um, in your case, whatever you choose, uh, the name of your internet will be, that is how it's going to show up here in your MS Teams installation. So I'm going to select Sparky and now I can do a query. So I will just search for customer success and then I am going to uh, select my 
customer success group here. And you can see that right away, it adds a link, it adds a description, it will add images as well if an image is attached to that page. And I can paste it easily and quickly onto, um, onto my MS Teams channel. All right, so as I mentioned before, what I want to show you as well is how this new MS Teams integration feeds into our existing broadcast feature. Uh, this is, of course, something that we've had for a while in Thought Farmer, allowing you to send urgent messages to your staff via different channels, via email, push notification, web banner, and now also to uh, via MS Teams or via Slack. So let's take a look at how that works. So I'm here on my meetings page that I, uh, that I created there earlier, <clears throat> and I'm going to start a broadcast from here. So I'll click on these three dots here, select the broadcast option, and I'll give that a name. It already will fill out the title of the page I'm on automatically, but you can change that, of course, if you wish. So once I save that, I go into the draft mode for my broadcast message. Now I'm not going to go over in super much detail here today, all of the options in a broadcast message. Uh, we do have a separate video on broadcast messages in general. So if you want to review that, it's in our YouTube channel as well. For now, suffice to say, I am going to um, just provide a title for this broadcast message. So I'll say, please review this important meeting or this page and then I'll say it contains very important information. The link to the internal page of course is already there because I started the broadcast from this uh, page with meeting notes. Uh, but now if you look at my channels, you can see internet banner, email and mobile push, both of which were there before, but I can now also select Microsoft Teams and or Slack. So I am, in this case, I'm gonna send it to both. And uh, for Microsoft Teams, again, you might have to log in here if you haven't yet, if this is the first time you're accessing the MS Teams integration. For myself, I'm already signed in. I'm going to select the team I want to send this to, customer success. And in this case, I'll send it to the general channel. For Slack, I'm going to select the customer success meetings channel that I have. All right. Now I can save this as a draft or send it right away. And I'm going to be bold and send this message straight away. It is just going to ask me to confirm that I'm sure that I want to send this out into the world. Once you are, just click send. And uh, of course, my broadcast will now show here at the very top. You can see that the Teams and Slack channel have their own new icon here. Now, if I go into my MS Teams app again, and I go into my customer success general channel, you'll see that my new broadcast message is showing up here. Please review this page. It contains very important information. If I go into my Slack channel, you can see that in the customer success meetings channel, I also have the link to that broadcast message right here. And if I click on this read more button, of course, it's going to take me right away back into my thought from our internet to read that meeting link. That is everything we wanted to show you today for our new, brand new Microsoft Teams integration with Thought Farmer. Again, we're really proud of launching this into the world and hoping that you guys um, enjoy it and take it full advantage of it. It's something that was requested for quite some time from our customers. So we hope you enjoy and use it to its full potential. Thanks so much, everyone.